All right, now battery drain is a biggest issue on the Android phones or any of the phones for that matter. And we take multiple different steps to save battery or to find out the root cause of the battery drain and rectify it. But those are some basic steps which we have already discussed in the previous videos. Now here is a Samsung's exclusive application which helps us protect the battery, save the battery or conserve the battery on the Galaxy phone. Before we go ahead and discuss about this application, if you are interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper, the link is in the description for you guys to download it. And if you are interested in this widget, this widget is from a premium KWGT widget pack called MIUI 14 KWGT. You need KWGT Pro application and this particular premium pack to download it. I will leave a link for this in the description. So you will have to buy both the applications to uh, install this kind of or set this kind of uh, widget on your home screen. If you are interested, the links are in the description. And while you check it out, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because you get to learn a lot about your phones so be sure to subscribe and become a part of this growing community let's go ahead now most of us know about good lock and something similar to good lock samsung also offers something called good guardians that's again a launcher like good lock and we'll be able to download different modules for different purposes and that is also region locked and not available in all the countries however the good news is most of you will be able to download this application or download the modules from a third party application called find lock let me show you that this is find lock application now you can see on find lock you can download all the good lock modules as well as the good guardians or the guardians modules which are all available on this application these are all the apks that you need to download this is basically a launcher from which you can download the apks and once you install those apks those applications will sit within this application which is basically a launcher for these modules now you see i have got all these good lock modules which is officially downloaded from good lock application and they are also available here if any of these modules are not downloaded it will tell me that this uh, particular module is not downloaded. I can go ahead and download it as an APK here. But since uh, GoodLock is available in my country officially, I don't have to download it from FineLock, uh, but Guardians are not available in my country. So I will have to download it from FineLock application. Now I have downloaded all of these uh, applications or all of these uh, modules. But in this video, I will be discussing about one specific module, which is called Battery Guardian. Now let me open this particular application. Now you can see we've got various different options or settings here, which will help us optimize the battery. The first one is app power saving. Now what this does is this will optimize battery draining applications to extend your battery life. When battery draining app has been found, app will be put to sleep automatically to extend your battery life. Now this is also done on the phone by default, but this feature might be a little advanced. So we can check this out and try this out. Right now it is not showing any battery draining apps or any battery draining event. So it is not showing any applications here. The second option is auto dim applications. Now this is pretty advanced. You see it says extend battery life by dimming the screen automatically if you are not interacting with the device's screen. Let me tap on this. It says auto dim apps when screen is not used. Enter dim mode quickly and keep dim until screen timeout. You can see there is a quick demo here. This is when you turn it on. You see it immediately gets into dim mode and then it gets into uh, uh, the screen will uh, go dark. Uh, whereas if it is turned off, normally we will see the screen will be on for a few seconds. Let's say if you have set 15 seconds or 30 seconds for screen turn off, then it will be on. But in the case of this auto dim apps turned on, then immediately it is going to turn off the screen or dim the screen using this particular feature. I can tap on get started here and I can select this auto dim applications for specific applications. Let me enable this. No apps are selected. I'll tap on edit. I can select any of the applications. Let's say, for example, I will select Google Drive and tap on done. Now, whenever I'm using this application, the screen will go dim within a few seconds. Next, we have got standard refresh rate applications. What this can do is this can extend the battery life by applying standard refresh rate for each application. Now this is turned on. I can select the applications on which I want the refresh rate to go down to 60 Hertz to conserve some battery. You can select any applications for this feature as well. Then we've got screen curtain. Turn off the screen and keep the applications running. This is a pretty cool feature. Now what this does is even if the screen is turned off, the app is running. If you need to run an application for a long time, try screen curtain mode. Screen curtain mode is not available when during calls, playing games on YouTube and YouTube music. You can see we have got a quick demonstration here. When the screen goes off, the application will be running in the background. 
Uh, you can also add a quick setting button here. I'll tap on add. This will be available right here. Let me just search for, yeah, here it is, screen curtain. When I enable this, you see it goes into this mode where it says double tap or press power key to turn on the screen. So the application is running in the background, but the screen is turned off with some basic information like your uh, date, day and month and battery percentage. And it says battery guardian is running. So I can just double tap on it to open the screen while the application is running in the background. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's go back. We've got another option here called network power saving. Extend battery life by applying network power saving mode for each application. Now let me tap on this. It says selected apps will not use 5G data network when mobile data usage is low. So this will also save some power. You can add the applications that you want, any specific applications on which you don't want to use 5G data. You can enable that right here. Now, these are pretty advanced features that we have got on Battery Guardian. Now the next option is power saving during bedtime. Extend battery life by automatically optimizing and limiting performance during sleep. This is something which is already available. We can use Bixby routines for this feature. We can create a sleep mode and customize it. However, here we have got this option again, battery guardian. I can set the time here, start time and end time, and the battery life will be extended automatically during the night by limiting the performance. The last option is extend battery life. Extend battery life by optimizing settings that use a lot of battery power. Let me tap on this. Now here is a list of options using which we will be able to conserve the battery. Now these are obviously available in the system settings as well, but here we have got the detailed list using which we can extend the battery life. The first one is setting the screen resolution to Full HD+, motion smoothness to standard, brightness level to adaptive, screen timeout, you can increase or decrease the screen timeout here, mobile hotspots, video brightness normal, eye comfort shield, Wi-Fi power saving mode, which will reduce battery usage by analyzing Wi-Fi traffic patterns. This is a feature from the Wi-Fi settings, which has been integrated into extend battery life option under uh, Battery Guardian. And uh, we've got Samsung keyboard sound, turn off keyboard sound can save more battery as well. So this talks about a few options which can help us conserve the battery. And you don't have to do anything, you can just tap on optimize now. Automatically it will optimize, uh, it will apply all the changes, tap on apply changes, that's it. Now this is definitely pretty cool. Uh, there are a lot of options which will help us conserve the battery and it's a very important uh, module that you can install. Not something which is not available in your country. Of course, officially it is not available, but you can download the APK. All you need to do is first download this application, FindLock application from the Play Store. It is available in Play Store. Once you download it, all you need to do is just go to the Guardians, download any of this. I will discuss all the other Guardians in, uh, in the next video. Uh, we have got Battery Guardian, just tap on that. If it is not installed already, it will direct you to apkmirror.com and easily you'll be able to download the application and install it, but make sure your auto blocker is turned off and then install the APK. And I think it is safe because APK Mirror is a safe source uh, from which we can download these APKs. I've been doing it for years, so I don't see any issues there. So once you install it, you can turn on your auto blocker later again. And then just open Battery Guardian. You've got various different options. Go ahead, tweak your phone to improve your battery performance. There may not be a drastic improvement in battery, but yes, definitely this may help us conserve some battery at least using Battery Guardian. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and smash that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.